Welcome to the second tutorial in Table Tennis Training 101. For our session today, it'd be great to watch two tutorials called How to Serve and Table Tennis Rules Overview. In this tutorial, we're going to see if we can improve on our consistency scores that we achieved in tutorial one. We'll then move on to serving and learning how to serve. We're going to finish with a fun game that's going to require you to know the rules of table tennis. Our first activity is our consistency challenge to see how many we can do in a row. Last week we achieved six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And keep going until you make a mistake. See if you can improve on your first week's scores. Our new game for today is the 30 second rally challenge. In our 30 second rally challenge, you've got to see how many hits you can do in 30 seconds. Now, you're only allowed to use one ball, so if the ball goes off the table, you have to go and run and get it and continue the rally for the 30 seconds. All right, we've got 30 seconds on the clock and our time starts now. So count one, two, three, four, five, six. Got to run and get it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, forty-three. All right. So we got forty-three that time, but we did make a mistake. You're going to find that to get a better score, there are two factors. One, you need to be consistent, so that you spend less time running and picking up the ball, and then number two is how early you can hit the ball. So if you can do those two things well, you're going to end up with a better score. Do you want to try again, Jeff? Let's try again. All right. So what was our first score? 40. 43. 43. Here we go. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 9, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 55. So just by getting a little bit more consistent with that one error less, we were able to increase our score to 55. You also saw that we were taking that ball a bit earlier. My challenge to you is to see if you can get to 60 hits in 30 seconds. I'd like you now to progress through the levels that we've shown you in the How to Serve video. So level one was the basic tap, bounce, bounce, where you're getting the bat and ball nice and close together and just doing tap, bounce, bounce. When you feel comfortable with that, the next level is behind the table. So making sure that you're hitting the ball from behind the line of the table. Again, tap, bounce, bounce. Level three is to now progress where you're going to put the ball on a tray. So have your hand nice and flat behind the table and then hitting the ball forwards. Also with level three, making sure that you're throwing the ball up off your hand, at least the height of the net. Now, by level three, you have a nice legal serve. If you're serving like that, you're ready to play in competition. Our next level is to develop our fast serve. To do this, we're going to put a piece of paper right near the end of the table. Because when you're serving fast, that is a great area to be aiming for. However, you can still hit that piece of paper by doing a very high serve. So what we want to now control is how high over the net the ball's going. This is what we'd like you to do. Have a stick over the net and a piece of paper right near the end of the table. And what you're aiming to do is to hit the ball under the stick and onto the piece of paper. 
Now, if you don't have a stick or someone to hold it, just monitor how high the ball is going over the net. Now we've set up a whole series of targets on the other end of the table. We've set up these targets for either a long serve with the two orange targets or the short serve with the green and the yellow and the grey targets. What I'd like you to do is to see if you can hit those targets. We're going to do that from the same position because we want your opponent to have as little information as possible about where that serve's coming. If you always serve your fast serve from here and your slow serve from here, then as soon as you set up, your opponent's going to know where that serve's coming. We're going to set up in the same position and do either a long serve or a short serve. The short slow serve can make it more difficult for your opponent to play an attacking shot because the ball is closer to the net and it's going to bounce twice on their side of the table. For our serving game today, we're going to see how many targets we can hit down in 10 serves. Okay, Jeff, so you've got 10 serves. See how many targets you can hit. One serve, no targets. Two serves, no targets. Yes, three serves, one target. Four serves, one target. Five serves, one target. Six serves, two target. He's getting better. Seven serves, three targets. Eight serves, three targets. Nine serves, three targets. Last serve. Ten serves, four targets. Well done, Jeff. Thank you. You can have a few turns and see if you can keep bettering your score. Now that you're confident with your serving, we're going to move on and play a game of beat the champ. Or if you haven't got more than two players, then you can just play a regular game. The rules of beat the champ are that you've got the champion at one end, the challenger at the other end, and all the other players that you've got need to be lined up at the side of the table. The two players on the table, the champ and the challenger, play one point. The winner of the point goes up to the champion's end and the loser of the point joins the back of the challenger's line. During that time, you can see how many points you can win. When it's my turn to get to the front of the queue, I'm the challenger and the challenger always serves. Now, to make sure that you don't have too many arguments, you need to go through the Table Tennis Rules Overview Tutorial. If you've only got two players, then you can just play a game up to 11 points. Love all. Love one. In this tutorial, we've developed your hitting consistency further, and we've also developed the speed of your hitting. Then we worked on your serving, making sure you're getting the serve correct, getting all the rules right, and then increasing the consistency and accuracy of your serving. And we finished with a game of beat the champ or a regular game requiring you to know the basic rules of table tennis.